As an Indian woman, I wanted to ask you, what makes you the most proud about your culture? Uh, representing India itself is a huge honor. Well, back in India, we traditionally greet each other by saying Namaskaram. And Namaskaram literally translates as the light in me welcomes the light in you. And I think this is a beautiful word, really, to showcase how much we value respect in our culture. Respect not only towards each other, but also the planet that we live in. And I think when we speak of respect, there's, most Indians believe that the one uniting force that exists in the world is energy. The same energy that's in you is the same energy that's in me, and it's the same energy that's in the world, really. And it's this energy that drives us to really be participants, meaningful participants in life, who respect the planet that we live in. And even when we look back at our traditional practices in India, right, everything, right, from our traditional practice of eating from a banana leaf to our practice of bucket water baths, which, in fact, conserve precious water, and even our clothing, in fact. Our clothing is all about natural dyes, organic cotton, and hand looms, all of which is just very respectful for the planet. And these ideas might be ancient, right? But I think the idea of a sustainable, conscious planet is in fact very modern. It's something that we should totally adopt in our daily lifestyles. And when we speak of sustainability, another thing that I'm suddenly reminded of is that in Hindi, we have the same word for yesterday and tomorrow. And what this basically tries to tell us is that time is a circle. Everything that we do today is in fact going to impact our tomorrow. And I think it's this value of sustainability that I really treasure deep inside of me. India is really a melting pot of cultures, diversity. There's so much wisdom and sensitivity that my culture carries. And it's this concept of sustainability that I treasure and hold very close to my heart. Now that's beautiful. And I've visited India um, with Miss World quite a few times. So everything that you're talking about, I've seen firsthand and it truly is beautiful. I'm so glad that you're so proud of your home and of your culture. Thank you so much, India. Thank you. Your question is, if you could give your younger self advice, what would it be? I was a very shy child growing up. I had a small circle of friends. And I totally remember that day when I froze in front of the school assembly when it was my turn to read out the news for the day. But if, if I had to give one piece of advice, then I would just like to say, talk. Mm -hmm. Step out of your shell and talk. When you have the gift of sound, the, the gift of voice, then it only makes sense to really exercise it, to, to build new friendships to speak up for what matters and, and exercise it in the, in the best way possible. Right. I know it's so important because if you had not decided to talk, you wouldn't be with us today. Mm -hmm. And so yes. we're very, very proud that you've not only decided to open your mouth, but open your mouth on behalf of all the people in your country that you get to represent, on behalf of your beauty with a purpose, yes. and on behalf of what we do here at Miss I see World. so much beauty in sound, and uh, I love immersing myself in this Yes, world. you know that's what I love as well, so <laughs> yes. I completely, completely understand. Thank you, India. Yeah. Thank you. I probably would have given myself the same advice because yeah. I, I didn't actually get to find my voice until I was exposed to something like Miss World, which I assume a lot of you had the same experience. Mm -hmm. So that's something good to follow, too. Yes, we're very proud. Thank yeah. you, India. Thank you.